The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Punja, India, weighing in at 295 pounds. Dangerous. Some would say this superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. You gotta be steady, take your time in the match, stay focused, because Orton will not hesitate to strike. And when Orton strikes, your day might be over. The most lethal superstar in WWE history. And his opponent, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. The definition of a WWE superstar, and in my opinion, there is no one as gifted in this game as Orton. Oh, Corey, I agree. Legendary factions, all-time tag teams. But Randy Orton is best when he does some solo work. And when he's doing said solo work, Randy Orton is one of the most sadistic individuals the WWE has ever known. The more hostile the environment, the more at home Randy Orton seems to be. Well, Randy Orton has made a career out of psychologically dissecting his opponents. And many of the victims who have fallen for the Viper schemes stay down for good. Writes his own story in Venom. Randy Orton can't be controlled. and we are off in this no disqualification. Bam! Somehow, Orton is down. Penny predicament. Two. He kicks out somehow. Talk about a close count, but the Viper is still in the fight. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. Given the no disqualification modifier on this match, Corey, what kind of tactics should you expect to see here? Ruthless tactics, Cole. Now is the time for these superstars to unleash their pent-up aggression and be as violent as they want. There's nothing the ref can do about it, so they should go all out. Power slam. And up the turnbuck as we go. The Viper is facing a bit of danger here. Looks like Orton's struggling here. Man, you want to talk about thin margins. Go, go, go. Oh, what a clothesline. To the outside. This could get wild. He's got a ladder now. He could be contemplating something very risky. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. And he slides him back to the mat.
Control here with a swinging neck break. Here he goes for the win. Then he closes it out. A defiant kick out after one. Not quite enough to put him away. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Coming next, Dax Suplex. Very nice. He's taking some good hits. Returning to the ring now. Steel step to the face. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. Counters the Viper's attack. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. And This could be it, cover for the win! Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. Incoming! Cross landing, powerbomb! Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show! Kick to the back! He's going for it all. Taking flight. Oh, what a splash. Can Orton withstand this attack? And Orton needs to bring the match back to his pace. He returns to the ring. The power, the strength, and now just pressing. That is something else. Rough well landing. He's looking shaky at best now. This has just been an absolute massacre. Randy Orton is slipping, but he still might have an RKO in his back pocket. Taking flight. Body splash. Looking for the victory. Two. It's over. It is over. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Dangerous. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. The Apex Predator fell prey to a better opponent tonight. I can't believe it.